welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rust the Kitten and welcome back to another Mods of the Week video. I'm not gonna waste too much time with the intro, I gotta go back to my job picking tomatoes, cause uh, my doomsday shelter is not finished yet and the aliens are on their way. Thank you 2020. Anyway, don't forget to like and share this video and endorse the mods you like. The first mod on this list is called Pajama Party Jill. Oh my god, this is epic. And it even has these cool kitten slippers, oh my god. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's go back a little. So when you download this mod, you have two options to choose from. One with the hat and one without it. Now I know when y'all hear pajama party, half your best is all like, oh yeah. But like I said, two options only, so stop smiling Perry Murphy. And go watch Cornhub like every other normal person, if you have chronic meat beating disease. The mod works from the beginning, the zombie form doesn't show. And if you want to use the hat with different outfits, well, you can. Uh, with the classic costume, it works flawlessly. But if you try to use it with the uh, stars costume, well, um, this happens. The weapons align nicely, except with the assault rifle, of course. It's always giving us trouble. It's a pretty immersive gel mod if you think about it and uh, now it makes sense why Nemesis keeps chasing her and uh, saying stars all the time. You know, he wants to take her pajamas and wear it himself. He jelly. The next mod is called Amazon Stars. Okay. And this mod gives a nice new body shape to Jill. Jill now looks like a true female soldier that can beat up half you who are watching this video, including me. So maybe don't stare at her bazoongas too much. Don't say I didn't warn you. Anyway, the mod kind of works from the beginning. The zombie form doesn't work and the outfit doesn't uh, work right away. Also, there is no weapon pouch in the uh, beginning, which is not a bug. Don't get me wrong, but I thought it is a pretty nice feature that I probably... Uh, didn't notice till all this time with other mods, so uh, shame on me. <laughs> oh yeah, works after the hospital scene. I honestly don't know why I even keep saying that, since it has been a while since I saw a mod that breaks after the hosp ho hospital scene, Jesus. But, whatever. She truly looks like uh, she's a part of Carlos' squad. Too bad there are no other recolors at this time, but who knows. By the time you are watching this in 10 years, when YouTube recommends this video for some reason, there might be a couple of recolors for it, so, you know, this is all of course if the war doesn't end in December. As for the weapons, well shit, I forgot to record the weapon stuff. The next mod is called Jill Ejaic Racing, I think. I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, but who gives a flying, you know what? And this mod is inspired by Chuck Green's jacket in Dead Rising 2. Imagine that. Who the hell is Chuck Green? Okay, doesn't matter. So Jill wears a Jack Racing shirt and uh, denim jeans and she is a blonde now. And the author was nice enough to put some new makeup on her. Amazing. This is something that a lot of authors forget about. Makeup can make the mod look even better. So you know, take notes from Papa Rasta. Anyway, the mod works from the beginning and uh, even the zombie form works. It also has a custom undershirt and works after the hospital scene. I didn't find any bugs with it, which is nice. Anyway, one other huge thing I like to show is that the clothes get ripped after some time. Like they should after all the stuff she goes through with uh, Nemesis but uh, I imagine it's a pain in the ass to make so uh, many authors don't bother with it I don't know I'm just speculating also if you want to use the blonde hair with other costumes I have good news for you you can it works fine with the other costumes so there you go don't forget to endorse it it's a really good nice looking mod I kind of really like it for some reason I don't know it's nice. The next mod is called Samurai's Edge Custom. And this is a weapon mod. <laughs> Go figure. 
Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you last week, but uh, stuff happened. So this is a custom Samurai's Edge with working custom parts, including a laser sight. Oh my god, holy crap, man, damn. Anyway, when downloading this mod, you have three basic options of what you want to replace. This can either replace the G19 handgun, the Infinite MUP handgun, Jill's and and Jill Samurai's Edge, of course. The gun can be fully upgraded, and by default, it has a green laser sight. So let's look at the G19 Samurai Edge first. So the mod works from the beginning, and it looks amazing. All upgrades work for it. This is how the fully upgraded one looks like. At, at least I think this is what the fully upgraded one should look like. I'm kind of stupid. I, I might have missed something, you know, happens. And uh, this is how it looks in first person mode. As you can see, the default model comes with a uh, green laser if you upgrade the sights, of course. But the brightness and the laser color can be changed. There are three colors you can choose from. That being red, green and blue. And no you dummy, you can't use all of them at the same time, you have to choose one color from those three. Yes RGB, but not any color, just red, green or blue. This wasn't made by Linus Tech Tips, god damn it. Anyway, you can also choose from additional laser brightness level options. And because I'm so nice, here is it how they look in the game. There's also an option to disable the laser altogether if uh, any of the many laser add-ons don't tickle your butthole. Other than this, we have another optional add-on to these and uh, those are custom skins. Here you can choose from four different skins and oh balls I need to show them all. <laughs> so here we go. First one is the crimson red. Here's how it looks. Then we have the golden one. And then the silver one. And then the silver one again with wooden grips. As you can see these can all be upgraded and they look beautiful. Almost as beautiful as me. The skins only work on the G19 replacement, so for the MUP and the other Samurai's Edge, uh, the skins don't work. Or I um, messed something up. That 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 can happen too. Other than this, there is uh, one more thing uh, you can add to this. Oh, oh jeebus, kill me now, when will this be over? <laughs> so there are another optional add-on you can download for this, and... Uh, 
That is the custom sound effects. Uh, this changes the default sound of all the weapons to the ones that we had in uh, Resident Evil 5. And uh, let me shut up now so you can listen to the uh, all the sounds. Finally, I think I'm done and I covered everything this mod has to offer. So don't forget to press the like button and also comment a huge thank you and endorse and give a huge endorse or uh, send the goat as a thank you to Silver and Ezra Dish because this probably took a lot of work to make this and uh, you know goat milk is healthy, especially if you mix it with uh, vodka. The next mod is called Siren Head. Oh my god, this thing is everywhere. To be honest, he is scary as hell. Maybe not this one, this, this one is tiny. But the bigger one in Fallout 4, damn, that scares the bejesus out of me. Anyway, unfortunately, the mod doesn't have the siren sound effect, if you're wondering. That's a bit of a letdown, but still it's a cool mod, you know. I ain't bitching. The mod works from the beginning. This is only for the first stage of Nevesis, of course. No one has figured out how to mod the other stages. Uh, okay. I haven't encountered any bugs with it. The uh, tentacles are correctly lined up. And overall it is a pretty cool SCP Nemesis mod. Uh, speaking of SCPs. Are you guys interested in some SCP gameplay with those? Suggest me games below. Because you know. I'm an uncultured bastard living under a rock and I have never played any of them so uh, I have no idea which games are good, which games are not, or even where to find them. So you know, comment down below if you're interested, I might make a video playing, you know. That is it for this week's video, last week I asked you if you want to see some clear mods, like an idiot, I forgot that I can do polls here, anyway maybe this week. I will finish the Claire mods video. I say maybe because I work 12 hours a day because I want some tomatoes with my bread cockroach sandwich. And when I come home I can barely do anything because I'm too tired. So maybe another video will drop this week. But uh, maybe next week you know. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Leave a comment down below. Like the video and endorse the mods you like. That's it. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll be seeing you guys uh, well soon. I don't know when. So bye bye.